I have picked me up another used plane. This time it's a Hangar 9 Toledo Special 40 size, so it'll handle a 40 to 52 two stroke or a 56 to 82 four stroke or electric on a Power 46. This one was gas, was converted to the Power 46 electric long before I got it. Uh, it is 1700 millimeter wingspan and uh, got an AR630 in there, antennaless, works really well. Got a 60 amp Avian ESC. Here's the battery compartment or fuel compartment if it was gas. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get it out and do some high speed taxi ends and line up that tail wheel and get it tracking straight on the runway. Got to lay it upside down and get to that battery hatch to put the battery in and secure it in the strap. So, takes just a minute to get it done. I'm kind of bummed the hatch is on the bottom. Got to lay it upside down. Probably should get a uh, cradle or plane stand to have out here so I'm not laying it on the wood. But it is what it is. She got upright and initialized, just checking the throws and the control services, making sure that's right, just in case there's an accidental flight coming up. But uh, I'm kind of guessing here at where CG is because I hadn't marked it and just wanted to look if it was close or way off. Guessing at a quarter to a third of the wing is, is uh, and the cord is what you do. So now let's, let's run it up a little. Taxi time. Well, on all of my airplanes, I will do what I call a high-speed taxi. Really, it's just a taxi to see the alignment of the wheel, whether it's a nose wheel or a tail wheel, to uh, the current zero trim setting on the rudder. Um, I noticed on this one we had the wind coming from the north which is you know facing the flight line towards the field to the left of this view and I was expecting uh, I was expecting it to push to the left and it did then when I taxied it back it still turned to the left here I second guessed my thought is it really pulling to the left so on down the runway I went just to make sure I was thinking right no left no right no, left, left. Now that I'm sure it's pulling to the left and I know that I need to adjust it to the right, pull it up, let's get it fixed, taxi it again, see if I need more. Adjustment of the tail wheel, a little left. Needs just a little bit more here. So bring it on over.
at this point i'm satisfied it's as close as it's going to get there's a little bit of wind pushing it around there's going to be some p factor to the left so even if i went too far by a smidge and it's going a little bit right that's fine that uh that'll come into factor as i go for a takeoff roll and with that we'll head back to the bench hangar nine toledo special it's an older model but a good one this one was originally set up as gas it was converted to electric. I didn't convert it, but it was done. Um, as you saw, taxi test went pretty good. Had to adjust the tailwheel. Bit windy today. I think it's uh, like 10 gusting to 16 or something. Too much for a maiden for me. I don't want to mess with it. I fly where the runway is pretty close up to some pine trees, as you've probably seen in some videos if you've watched. And it makes for a very turbulent area on either direction landing basically swirls, turbulence, updrafts, downdrafts, craziness, and uh, not enough AS3X can cover for it, and my skill most definitely cannot cover for it. So I'll wait for a better day, at least get to see one good flight with this beautiful bird. It's got a great blue scheme, uh, blue and cream. Uh, it's wonderful. And nice wheel pants. I mean, everything works like it should. I'm happy about that. Put an AR630 in it, it's what I had, um, and I think it should do fine. They've, they've always done well for me. Uh, Avian 60 amp in it, and the, uh, the E Flight 46 electric motor up front, and everything looks good. Got a good price, it's a great airframe, it's in good shape. Not many dings, cracks, or anything like that. Uh, the typical wrinkles in the monocoat or Ultra Coat, whatever it is here. I think Hangar 9 is Ultra Coat. So. But uh, yeah, I'm probably going to pull some stickers off. I'm not a big fan of advertising. I just like the clean Toledo Special Blue and Cream. Catch up with me later for the maiden flight. See you then. Oh, one more thing. It's running a 4 cell. I put a 3200. I have yet to mark CG on the wings so that I know where they're at. Um, so I don't know about CG. That's why today was just a taxi test. And We'll see where CG is before the maiden flight. See you then.